2010, everybody. My son Nathan is in the background eating an ice cream sandwich right before we go get our sister who's back in VBK already. And uh, he had a little request there, so I flubbed this. It's the Egyptian theme there. You must have seen it in the cartoon. At any rate, I ended the year on a washburn mandolin. It was turn of the century uh, mandolin. I didn't really even play it. And then I did a little New Year's Eve thing, and this is the first thing since then. So it's a, oh, this one's probably about a 10 year old Made in Korea uh, festival series washburn. It's an EA 10. Um, Bigger than my 712 Taylor, that's like 16 inches across. Um, how big is it? Um, so it's a more comfortable guitar than a Dreadnought, uh, narrow at the waist. What have we got? 15 and 3 quarters across the bottom. Nine and a quarter at the waist. Um, oval sound hole. Note that this guy is signed. This is Laurie White. Um, country singer. She does some gospel songs as well. Quite the singer. I'm guessing she had an endorsement. This was a grand prize in a radio contest. Uh, the thing is brand new condition. Uh, the lady that won it never played it. Um, you know, I replaced the strings, I cleaned it up, uh, just age and tarnish, you know, frets, whatnot. Uh, gave it a polish and fresh set of strings, and that's about it. Oh, no, actually, uh, I took the saddle out and shaved it down, because stock height, I don't like. I like them to play like a tailor, um, since I own a tailor. So, I made this thing play great. Uh, that was flat, by the way, on the guitar, volume at 10, but EQ, bass, mid, and treble, totally flat. Uh, flat on the amp at 5 and 5 on the bass and treble. The first volume is at about 9 o'clock. The master volume is at about 3 o'clock, like I always run it. The notch is engaged but straight up and down, so it pulls a hair mid to help prevent feedback and stuff. Um, I'm at stage volume here. <laughs> with the EQ here's pulling some mid bass and boosting the bass and the treble a bit played in a bit too, so I'm a little rusty. I started with a bass boost and treble boost and a mid cut and I extended it there a little bit. Uh, I'm not all the way up. It's got extreme booster cuts. Um, I'm not even a big fan of using onboard EQ uh, when possible. I, I use almost nothing and make settings at the amp or at the board. Um, but the thing does sound great. Um, got a 9 volt battery at the bottom. End pin jack. Uh, it is. It hasn't even had the uh, a strap button put on yet, so you can put it where you want. I always recommend about an inch and a quarter up or so, right about there. Um, it has Grover machine heads. Still has the Made in Korea sticker on it. 
there is no case. The lady had it in the washburn box that it came in, but that thing was not looking so good, so I tossed it. Um, let's see, I put a set of GHS um, Extra Light, uh, I want to say white bronze, I can't even remember. Um, they go 11, 15, I want to say 22, 30, 36, and then 50, or 38, and then 50. So, nice light set with a heavy base. Cutaway is pretty extreme, 15, 17. 18, 19, pretty much at the 19th fret there. There's 21 frets. Um, no. 15, 17, 19, 21 frets. Um, plays great, feels great, very th thin, slim neck. Um, that's about it. It'll be going up on eBay. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said in the beginning, happy 2010. And uh, if you're interested in this one, up on eBay, bid to win.